came about because every year we have this amazing village fete and we always do something, a communal act of foolishness. And I suddenly had this idea, let's just expand the whole scale by a thousand times and uh, do an act of communal foolishness on a nationwide scale and make a film. So actually the film incorporates some of the amazing things we do in the village fete every year that we've just made a, uh, a massive film. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about it. Uh, I had a friend earlier who has an office near here and said, um, uh, <laughs> said I've just come out to have a cigarette and there's a 30 foot uh, poster being erected of you. Um, but uh, you know, she seemed a bit surprised by it and I'm a bit shocked too. I've never been to a premiere before. But I understand they're full of sophisticated and glamorous people. Hands up if you're sitting next to somebody sophisticated and glamorous. It was three years bringing this film to Leicester Square and it's uh, put about ten years on both of our lives, which means people have already been asking me in the interviews I've been doing outside, they're saying, what's the next project? What's the next project, Guy? And uh, we've got three ideas. We've got, uh, the first one is to do a remake of Titanic, <laughs> where it doesn't actually hit the iceberg. And it's actually a happy ending. That's the first idea. The second idea is to do a sequel to Tortoise in Love, so Tortoise in Love brings us up to the first kiss, and it's the sequel after the first kiss, and we're going to call it Shell Shot. <laughs> and the third idea, we had this idea of making a film about this little village in Oxfordshire that decide to make a film and take it all the way to Leicester Square. But, you know, I don't think anybody would believe that. And there is a star of the film, and that star of the film is Kingston House. And we couldn't have made it without Kingston House, and we couldn't have made it without the generosity of Virginia Grant. So, uh, and as Minister for Film, I can now go around and boast that I have a village in my constituency that's made a blockbuster rom-com. It really is the most amazing achievement. It's a brilliant story, um, and um, I've uh, I found the whole thing uh, extraordinary from uh, start to finish, really. And uh, it's it's got the sort of fairy tale ending, really, of the premiere in uh, Leicester Square, and uh, you know, UK uh, cinema release. Uh, so it couldn't have gone better. We kind of never imagined it, and uh, but we always had a sneaky feeling like we'd go all the way. I don't know why it was, but everyone had total faith based on nothing because it's an impossible dream. But sometimes impossible dreams they like, gather together people who want to make it happen. That's what happened with us, and that's why we're here today. And I just wanted to say one last thank you. Thank you to each and every one of you that's been involved in this film for making this fantastic dream come true. Give yourself a big round of applause.